Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGym007, and today we're looking at the Great Kits plugin. Now, this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to easily create kits in game. It has a cool GUI and it allows you to configure the kits uh, with what items you want, the cooldown, who can get it, various permissions, etc. And most of this can be done in game, which makes it very easy. So to start with, we're going to have a look at the GUI. If you do forward slash kit, it will open up and give you all of the kits that you can get currently. So if you don't have permission for the kit, there is an option where you will not be able to see it, which is pretty cool. So if we go ahead and click all of these, you will see that I've literally just put loads of random items in these kits um, just to show you um, what it looks like. So if we go ahead and clear our inventory and then grab the tools we want for the kit we're making, and then go ahead and do full slash GK. This will show us all of the different commands that um, admins use to create and edit kits. And if you do full slash GK create followed by the kit name, that will create the kit. However, we're not finished yet. So if you do full slash kit, it says we need to update the icon. So then we need to do full slash GK set icon and then the kit name. And whatever item we're holding will be transferred to the icon. Now if we try and click it in the GUI, it will not work because we haven't set the inventory for it. So if we do forward slash GK set inv and then the name of the kit, it will set our current inventory as the inventory for the Woodman kit. And there we go, so we've got the same three items that we were holding. Next, if we do forward slash GK, we can actually set the cooldown by doing GK set cooldown, the kit and then X amount of seconds. So if we do 600, that will be 10 minutes. Um, you can set it to 10,000, you can set it to 30 seconds, whatever you want, um, it's as easy as that. Then we can do GK set first join kit, the name of the kit, Woodman, and then true or false. This will allow players to get it when they first join your server or not. And the next feature is pretty cool, it allows the kit to only be used once. So if it has some really powerful items in, you can do forward slash GK set one time use, the kit name, and then true. So if it has loads of diamonds in, you probably don't want them to get it every 30 seconds. So you can set that to true if you want. And if you don't want these options, you obviously set it to false. Now, if we do forward slash GK and then set order, we can change the order that they appear in the GUI. So you give every kit a value and it will number them um, according to the value you've set. So you could do one, two, three, four to make it easier, or you could set loads of random values like I've done. Um, so if we set Woodman to 25, and then if we set Butter to 20, we will see that obviously 20 comes before 25, so it'll be on the left. And then if we go ahead and change Butter to 28, and then look again, it will be on the right, because obviously 28 is bigger than 25. Surprise, surprise. And that is pretty much how you do it. And if you do forward slash GK icon order, that will show you all of the different values for the kits. So I haven't set test or wood, uh, but obviously I could set them to whatever I wanted to order them in the GUI. But that is pretty much everything in game. We're going to have a look at everything in the config files now. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel. And as you can see, we're in the great kits folder and there are three different files. So the cooldowns at the top, this is completely empty. There's an empty YML file, so you don't need to worry about that. Then we have the kits file folder, I should say, and in here has all of the YML files of the kits we've created. So we created Woodman uh, a few minutes ago, and in here it will list obviously the name, the cooldown, the permission, the order, whether you can get it uh, when you first join the server, whether it's of one time use, and it gives information about all the items you get. So Acacia Logs, Flint Steel, Iron Axe is everything we set, and there is no armor as well. So that is everything in there. Obviously you could change it in here, but it's much easier to change it in game. And then if we go back twice to the config.yml, there's a few things we can change in here. So up at the top, we can enable it to have a GUI, which you saw in game. Then do you want to enable kit previewing using right click? Um, so this is false, but you could enable this. So when people right click a kit, it will show you exactly what you get, but obviously it won't give it to you. Then, do you want kits to be displayed to people even if they don't have the correct permission? As I'm op, I could see everything, but obviously if you're a new player, you might not be able to see the premium kits. And do you want a enable help item that shows you what happens when you left click and right click in the GUI? Then if we scroll down a bit, you can see various messages 
that pop up. So you have information about kits here and what happens when people don't have permission or there's no kits on the server, etc. You don't need to change this because it all looks pretty good. And then if we scroll down, we have the permission section. So do you want people to require permission to list and preview kits? And then we have the GUI items. So this is the help item. So it's a tripwire hook and it says left click to get the kit and right click to preview the kit. And then we have the exit and select button. But that is everything in the config file. It's really straightforward. So if we hop over to the Spigot website, you can see the plugin here. It's been recently updated, Saturday in fact. And it just gives you a good introduction to the plugin, all of the different commands. And the plugin even supports placeholder API, which is really awesome. Scroll down to the bottom and you can see if you do have any questions or bugs, please contact the developer. Uh, so on Spigot, you can just go over here and obviously message him um, as long as you sign up. So uh, that is the plugin. It's really awesome. If you want to download it, there'll be a link in the description. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. And if you want to check out all of my other plugin tutorials, there will be a playlist in the description. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.